Hello everyone, welcome back. So, I haven't really done any reaction videos to Ukraine's national final, apart from one, kind of, I did make a reaction video to Mavka by Eria. Uh, unfortunately, Eria did not make it into the final for Vidbir for Ukraine, unfortunately, which it's a shame because I really like that song and when you listen to it and now that we know all the other final songs, I think it would have actually been quite a good contender. So it's a shame that she has missed out again twice to represent Ukraine. Um, and Evia is really lovely. I've spoken to her a few times on Instagram. She shared my reaction video and other people's reaction videos on Instagram as well. Um, so there was quite a lot of support for her song. And I hope she continues to make music because I really like both of her attempts for Ukraine. Um, but she isn't in the final for Vidbir. Uh, but that is the only song I actually made a reaction video to. Even though I don't always make reaction videos for every single country. I do follow everything, so I, I know, you know, what's going on with all the national finals. Um, but I just don't watch them all or make reaction videos to all of them. Because it is actually difficult to keep up with filming videos to everything. Especially when we've got a lot more national finals happening now at the same time. So it does get quite difficult to carry on filming videos, but I do try and film a lot of videos for as much as I can, really. So what I will do now is give you my personal top three for Big Beer for Ukraine this year. So I have come up with a top three and I am quite confident on what my favourite is, um, but we'll get to that later. So. Actually, first of all, um, before I get into my top three, I'll just quickly mention Elena Pash because I thought that I would like her song because, especially when you think of her style, you know, what her style is, I was quite looking forward to her song. I thought it would be my type of thing. But I actually, I don't really like her song that much. I'm quite disappointed. I was expecting more. Um, so even though I thought that she would be in my top three, uh, she isn't, unfortunately. But maybe the live performance could change things. So my number three is Cloudless with All Be Alright. So Cloudless, the group, have done a big beer before, definitely, at least once. I think this is their second attempt. It could even be third. Um, I think it's the second, though. Um, and I like them as... A group. Uh, I like this sound and I like this song as well. I'm not sure if it's the best that I've heard from them, um, but it could be up there as one of the best. Um, but again, you know, will they wing with this one? I'm not sure, um, but it is definitely enough for me to like it, enough to put in my top three. My number two is Stefania by the Kalush Orchestra. So when I look at a picture of the band, there's a member of the band who looks exactly like the guy who plays the flute in Go Away. I swear it is him. It looks so much like him. I think it is. I haven't actually double checked and confirmed this, but it looks just like him. So I think it is him from Go A. And it's got that Go A sound, definitely. Um, traditional Ukrainian sound, but also modern as well. There's some rap in there. Um, and I like it. And looking forward to the live performance as well. Um, it could be quite interesting. So my number one, my personal favorite from this national selection, is Girls by Roxolana. So I really like this and I've liked this right from the start so it's been my favourite for the whole time. 
Um, and it is popular as well with Eurovision fans, so I think it is a favourite to win. And I just really like it, yeah. And again, it's got that mix of traditional Ukrainian mixed with modern. And Ukraine are really good at doing that. They always seem to have that balance done really well. And they've also got the balance of Ukrainian and English in the song as well. Nice mix of both. Um, so yeah, it, it's modern. And it's also got that um, ethnic breakdown after the chorus, which is really catchy. And yeah, I just really like it. I don't know how it can be performed live, what the station would be like, but if it's good, then I can see it at Eurovision. Yeah, why not? There is a jury at Vidbir, I believe Jamala is a member of the jury or the panel. Um, I don't know what she would think, what she would be more drawn to. Maybe she could be a fan of Roxalana, hopefully. Um, but yeah, it's, it does seem to be a fan favourite. And I think it, it does appeal to a lot of people. And I really like this ethnic sound after the chorus um, and the mix of English and Ukrainian as well. I think it's just quite a good package all around and it's very catchy. So that is my favourite. Do I like any of these as much as Go A? No, unfortunately not, but I thought that would be the case. Go A were probably my favourite ever Ukrainian representative, or one of them, definitely. Um, so yeah, I wasn't sure if they could, you know, really live up, follow on from their expectations. Um, but no, there are some good songs, like the ones that I've just mentioned, or the ones that I like. Um, my favourite is definitely Roxalana. I think that could be quite an interesting choice, yeah. Uh, but let me know what you think, what your favourite is. Is there any of the ones that I've just mentioned? So the final for Ukraine... I, I say final, but it's only one show, there's no semi-finals. Uh, but the show and the final is actually this Saturday, the 12th. So we will find out in a few days' time who will represent Ukraine. Uh, so I might watch it live, but I'm not sure actually, because I don't even know if I'll be able to. And there's other national finals happening in that night as well, of course. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I could react to the live performance of the winner. Um, but yeah, we'll find out very soon. So thank you for watching. Feel free to let me know who you think should win for Ukraine. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.